Hey, what's going on, guys? Robbie here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we're going to be learning to make a transition using a color mat. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a couple of videos in my project. Let me drag both the videos to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So I'll be creating a transition between these two videos at this point here. So in order to do that, I'll first create a new item called color mat and I'll hit OK. And I need a blue color, so I'll just adjust this color picker tool like this and then hit OK. Now I'll drag the color mat onto the top of both the videos, one layer above them. And since the duration of this color mat is 5 seconds, I'll just adjust it to around 1.5 to 2 seconds. Okay, this looks fine. So now I'll go to the FX panel and type in push. So I have this push effect in the slide folder of the video transitions and just drag this onto the beginning of the color mat so that the push effect is applied. You see that something like this is happening and then I'll also drag the push effect to the end of this video, this color mat and let me zoom in now and just adjust the effect in such a way that the push effect in the start of the color mat and the end of the color mat align to the portion where the transition happens between these two videos. So now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like. So you can see that there is this smooth transition happening with the help of the color mat that we have. Premiere Pro is all about creativity so you can use different effects available inside Premiere Pro and then make the best out of this. I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.